since using this microphone, I have been recording with the front-facing camera more than I have probably in the entire time I've owned the phone. Come to think of it, I use the front-facing camera a lot with the SE. Anyways. So I got these lights by Philips, like the Philips Hue lights. Actually, one second. So I got these lights on this bright. Anyways, they wake me up now. The lights turn on, my alarm comes on, now it's bright and I can't go back to sleep. You want a coffee co soda? Woo! I was really tired, didn't want to get up, but they work. I mean, the Hue lights, they're decent for lighting. Um, I should probably invest in some actual lights at some point, but in other news, I'm actually heading over to a conscious capitalism event because our chapter is established here in Columbus now. Speaking of which, this coming, the upcoming guest for the podcast coming on Monday is Barry Chandler. He's on the board for that. For today's vlog, I'm going to talk about what Barry defines as a powerful mindset. I stopped for like 10 minutes earlier and just about passed out. Word to the wise, don't stay up late and then get up early. It's not healthy. Anyways, I'm hopping into the uh, conscious capitalism event right now. Real quick, if you don't know what conscious capitalism is, basically it's businesses who lead with mission and purpose first and profits follow. Conscious capitalism as a movement uh, with all the leaders who started it, with people like John Mackey. We had a great conversation about Whole Foods earlier. We want to elevate humanity through business. We believe that business can and should be a force for good in the world. That's really the purpose of conscious capitalism. And we want to help business be known as a force for good. Not only do we want it to be a force for good, but we want people out there to understand that business can be good. If you guys get the chance, do check out Benji. He's got a really cool setup. I mean, that's the work of an actual professional. I'll include a link in the show notes for her in the description with like his website and all that. Welcome back, guys. Gonna go ahead and wrap up the uh, vlog. So today, Barry Chandler, his episode's coming out this coming Monday. I'll include a link in the description when it actually comes up because right now the link will go nowhere for his definition of a powerful mindset. And again, this is Barry Chandler from StoryForge. I can include a link to StoryForge in the description. Now, Barry Chandler says, and again, this is just like spacing out. All right. The way he defined a powerful mindset on the episode, as early on as you can, know very clearly the things that you value, the things that you stand for, stand against. Learn those and be clear on it as early on as possible so you can learn what to say no to. And this is really important uh, in pretty much anything in life. Like, I'm, I'm one of those guys, you get an idea and you kind of just want to try everything. You get this like shiny object syndrome where you see something, it looks really cool, you want to go try it out. It's like you can't decide what you actually want to do because you have so many interests. Getting very clear on your purpose, on your mission, on what you value, things that you like, dislike, that can help to alleviate some of that shiny object syndrome. You don't have to do just the one thing, but you do need to be very clear on things that you should say no to. There are a lot of other, there are probably dozens of other ideas that I've had that I did not do and even right now there are things that I just don't do because they don't quite fit in line with where the direction that I'm going in it's an important thing learning to say no it's difficult to do because it's not always comfortable you don't always want to sometimes you never want to I don't really like saying no but at the same time I like my sanity so it's very important you can be very focused uh, and really add a lot of value if you learn what to say yes to and what to say no to in life so just a quick pro tip from a wonderful guest in the podcast. You guys are going to love his episode. I really had a great time recording it. So keep an eye out for that. That's today's vlog for the day. And I will catch you in the next. Yeah, it doesn't hurt anymore. Catch you in the next episode. Alrighty.